Hello guys. Welcome to the channel today. We're taking a ride from our place here in Mansfield. This is what the houses look like in Mansfield subdivision. Right off of Friendship Highway in uh, Angela City, Rungay Santa Domingo. So I just wanted to give you guys a little look what it looks like today. We're heading to the main gate right there to the left. And we're going to explore and try to find uh, where the new, where the American Legion moved to. Alright, there's our main gate. Alright, through the gate we go, and we're going to make a left hand turn onto Friendship Highway. Each day we're going to try to go out guys and try to explore a little bit and try to go different places. Uh, we're going to do Clark, Clark, uh, Clark Air Force Base. We're going to visit the museum as well. We did a video on that. We're just going to explore a little bit each day. Hopefully we find something somebody likes and enjoys. Sorry if the background noise is a little up there, looks like. Right now we're heading, I believe it's north on Friendship Highway. It might be northwest a little bit, but generally north on Friendship from the Telebastogan area, heading towards Angeles. <clears throat> There's a great gas station there. Is it this one? No, the last one. They do a car wash, hand car wash as well, which is nice. We used that a few years ago. Really affordable. I think it's just a couple dollars US. Two or four bucks, I can't remember, something like that. <clears throat> but they do a really good job. They vacuum inside and out, you know that thing, they wash it, do all your windows inside and out. And they really clean your car, I mean. They have a whole crew there, the guys jump in. They pressure wash and hand wash. And then do all your windows and all that kind of stuff. They even take the mats out and wash those. All included. We used to bring our Toyota SUV there. All right, we're coming up on Porok Road here. You can make a left to go to Porok, or you can make a right and head towards Nepo or downtown Angeles. We're going to continue straight, I believe. Yeah, I think we're going to go straight. Just go around this traffic a little bit. A lot of the motorcycles go around. I try not to be like the other motorcycles. I just wait my turn. Like a responsible driver, but sometimes you got to go up on the left. I was watching that officer there. He came out and yelled at somebody riding their motorcycle the wrong way on the sidewalk. And they came out and yelled at him. Or her, I can't remember what kind of driver it was. Also, keep note uh, some of the areas, like if you leave Angeles to go into Telebistagin, to go back into Angeles from the other side, um, occasionally the Philippine National Police will be up there with a, a checkpoint, checking to see if you have your vaccination cards. And they will not let you proceed if you don't have your vaccination cards, or you have to show proof of test, I think. But um, we got stumped, stopped once there on MacArthur coming into Telebistagan after we left Angeles. <clears throat> Never been stopped here at this checkpoint that they have set up. <coughs> Uh, 
It's been pretty hot during the days here, up in the middle 80s, or upper 80s, and at night in the 70s. Not so bad at night, but... Just try to go with the flow when you drive here, guys. Always try to expect the un unexpected. Like that guy can walk out on you, this tricycle can pull right in front of you. And then sometimes they don't even look, so you have to be careful. I always tell people when you're visiting, you have to have eyes in the back of your head. Helps to have a camera like we got going on. Helps to have a front and rear. And I saw one on Facebook the other day. It looked pretty interesting. Had It came with two cameras, front and back. Also had GPS where you can plot your course. Set your destinations and all that. How good it is, I don't know. Maybe we'll check it out one day. See all these trees here on the left and right? Uh, back in 2019 when we were here, they were cutting them all down. And then people started complaining, I guess. Because they were going to expand the road. I guess. So they started cutting them down. Some of them still have numbers on the trees. See, like here, there's no trees. They started pulling, pulling them down. For the most part, I really haven't had any problems. No accidents or nothing like that, but I've had people pull out in front of me and don't even look. And then beep at me, like it's my fault. <laughs> I'm already on the main road and they're pulling into me, beeping at me, saying, get out of the way. And I'm like, really? Uh, what planet? Is that okay to do, you know? On what planet? Try to run somebody over and you're already on the main road. But you have to, like I said, you have to expect the unexpected here. Somebody can walk out in front of you. Somebody can pull out in front of you. Don't expect that they're paying attention because most of the time they're not. They just pull out and expect everybody else to stop. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> Again, we saw a few clouds today, but uh, a little cloudy, but we never really got rain done. I think I felt the drip once or twice, but no, no rain rain. You'll see a lot of scooters around and everything or whatever, but we, we have a Yamaha Aerox. I guess it's considered a scooter. It's a 155cc. It's a little faster than the NMAX, they tell me, but <clears throat> it's the Aerox Black and Gold, I guess the S edition, S special edition, I guess. The Aerox is not as wide, it's a little bit longer than the NMAX. Same engine, same cooling system, and that kind of stuff. One thing I gotta do though is I gotta put shock absorbers on. I do not, I do not like the stock shocks or the front struts are very stiff, very hard, and not so good on your back if you have back issues. I was in a car accident a few years ago, and my God, every once in a while I hit a big bump or a pothole, my goodness, it'll keep me up all night. Beep, beep. Another thing here too, you just follow the flow of traffic, you know, wherever they're going you go kind of thing, unless it's off the bridge, then you don't want, don't want to go there, but um, I've seen people here down by Telebastog and there by the mall, uh, gets a lot of traffic there, MacArthur and Friendship, so a lot of people, most people just go on the sidewalk, they ride their motorcycle or car right on the sidewalk to bypass the traffic, so that's a regular occurrence here, so you have to, like I said, expect the unexpected. If the noise in the background from the road gets unbearable, I'm just going to mute the mic on the camera. So we don't use it in the future. 
just let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see in Angela City or around Angela City just let us know uh, we'll do our best to try to accommodate if it's doable we don't mind doing it we'll show you video pictures whatever you want we had a uh, subscriber request a mowing residence we went there the other day did a video on that just a simple walkthrough video nothing special all right now we're in Koreatown I guess it's called um, a lot of Korean restaurants here markets food stores that kind of thing a lot of restaurants my goodness Probably a few nightclubs, that kind of thing. But we're coming up on Don Wuko. Intersection of Don Wuko and Friendship. If you go to the left, you'll go to Friendship Gate to Clark Air Base. The entrance to Clark Air Base at Friendship. If you go to the right, you'll head towards Walking Street or Downtown Angeles. Well, I guess part of Downtown. Anyway, where they have that, um, where they have Walking Street and they have um, all the nightclubs, bars, that kind of thing, restaurants. They also have the Olympic Asi Asianic Games clock still there at the park. If you're deciding to come to Angeles or come back to visit or stay, hit us up in the chat. Let us know. Send your email or something, that, you know, in the chat. And subscribe and like the videos. And what we'll do is we'll keep in contact. If you like to ride on motorcycles, there's places here you can rent all different kinds, uh, from the little moped kind to the scooters to the, what do they call them? Uh, I can't remember the name. Um, it's like a motorcycle that they have here from Europe. I don't know if they call it a pub pub bike or something like that, or I can't remember. Pub racer, maybe something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, there's a couple of rental places around. If you want to buy, we have a great place where we got ours from under uh, installments. You can put. Uh, like down payment of like 30,000 pesos which is what um, 600 bucks US put down finance the rest the rest is only 5,000 pesos a month or thereabouts which is about 100 bucks very affordable after the down payment <clears throat> Also, if you're American or European or from another country like Canada or Australian, European, you come here, it's a lot easier to put things in. Here's the Clarkton Hotel, a great hotel if you're looking to stay temporary. You've got food, restaurant, everything inside, pool, really nice. They renovate it and have a lot of nice rooms, a lot of brand new rooms in the back. A lot of speed bumps here, so be careful of those. Some of them are hidden. What was I saying? If you plan on coming down, we can help point you in the right direction. It helps to put things in a Filipina's name. Or if you're an American woman, it helps to put in the Filipino's name to get things. A lot of things, like uh, anything that has to do with installments, um, you have to be a citizen. Most things. You have to be a citizen to, be, uh, install to do installments, like financing here. <clears throat> just on vehicles and uh, appliances, that kind of thing. Right, we're going to make a left here and try to find the American Legion somewhere down the road. They moved to this new location in Angeles from Dau. I think originally they were in Angeles, then they moved to Dau, and then they moved down here. So my wife's pointing me, and she's on the back of the bike pointing me in different directions. So. You might hear us chat once in a while and be like, what? What? Turn here? What? <laughs> we got to get those little walkie-talkies for your helmets kind of thing, and little intercoms one of these days. <clears throat> but it helps to have a Filipina or somebody to put it in their name um, for financing purposes. If you just want to pay cash, that's the best way to do it. Just pay cash and 
the place where we got our motorbike from, um, they don't do cash. They only do installments. I guess they make more money that way, which is understandable. Now, I don't remember what street we're on. But we're doing some exploring where my wife used to work, where she used to live, where she used to run. Here's the VFW here. Veterans, Farm Wars, it's the VFW and the church across the street. We had lunch there the other day. It was great. They have a really good uh, St. Louis pork loin sandwich. Oh my god, it's huge. It's almost twice the size of the bun they put it on. Really, really good. Back out onto Don Wuko. Don Wuko, Wuko, something like that. That's where all the hotels are at. Some of the nightclubs. There's Savannah Resort Hotel on the right. Remember, we passed the Clark dinner already. <clears throat> Looks like Red Doors or somebody there. Hilltop Hotel. To the left is uh, Clark. Clark Freeport Zone. Just over the fence behind those buildings. Looks like a parking garage they built here. Probably for one of the big call centers going in. We try to go out every Saturday and Sunday or thereabouts, do some exploring. There's always less traffic as you see. Less chances of somebody hitting you or you hitting somebody. So we'd like to go out on the weekends. Oh, she told me to turn here, turn here, honey. I'm like, okay. Here's the 54 bar. A couple of Americans or Europeans out there. Wave hi to those guys. I don't know where she's taking me down here, but some of these roads aren't the same, she said. A lot of the buildings are different, or they knocked them down, built something else now. So she was a little dis disorientated. And a lot of streets that used to be paved like this, some of the back streets, you'll see to the right there, it's like all rocks and dirt now. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Angelus is doing. Again, navigate the speed bumps. Some of them are hidden, like right here in the water. Up ahead where she's taking me, I guess is a new hotel they're building or extending to. But they have like an outdoor market or festival going on or something today, it looked like. All these tables up and tents, all selling something. Is that the Swiss hotel? Looks like a Swiss flag or something there. turn left I believe it is on this dirt road right here they're the first I think or second white building on the right I'm going to pass it it's kind of small right here is where the American Legion's at and I didn't even see the sign didn't I say the sorry sorry store restaurant there and she's like turn around turn around there's the American Legion I'm like okay you know, I'm, no, I'm so used to signs sticking out into the street you know all they had up was a little um A little uh, tarp thing hanging, tarp sign. So I'm going to make a U-turn here. I don't know what they're cooking there. But guys, if you're ever in the area, the American Legion here is open to the public. You can come in and eat something or have a drink. Uh, if you like sweet tea, southern sweet tea, boy, oh boy, oh boy, do they have a really good sweet tea here. Comes in one of those mason jars, and it's a big mason jar. And the servers are outrageous. I mean, they are so good. Very nice people. There's Nita, my wife. Just her birthday the other day. She's a member of the Ladies Auxiliary now. Her deceased husband was in the Air Force, so 
we freak we frequent a lot of these places American Legion VFW there we are post one two three there's the girls the two girls in the red on the left there are valid if anybody's looking for a girlfriend <laughs> just come to the American Legion and say hi I can't remember their name but really nice gals my wife was standing next to the other one when she was the cook, I believe. Again, really good sweet tea. I'm not sure on the food yet. Haven't tried it yet. I'm sure it's good. Most of them are really good. A lot of American foods. If you want a hot dog or cheeseburger and fries, probably the best spots to go are the American Legion or VFW. All right, let's go out try to find a main street here. We stayed for about an hour or two there, had a couple sweet teas, decided to head out. I'm asking her which way to go. Are we going straight, to the left, to the right? I'm like, I don't want to go down any more dirt roads. We're going to head this way, explore the area, see if we see anything worth seeing or taking a picture of. A lot of construction still going on. A lot of restaurants here. They'll just pop a tent in the middle of the street, put up a table and some benches, and cook some food for you. Some of those places are the best tasting food around. Really, really good. Usually, grandma or somebody's in the back cooking there. That's what they call. Was it masara? Really good, delicious. Here we go, another dirt road, I think. I'm like, oh my god. Not another dirt road. Which way do we go, honey? Let's go to the right. Let's go back out to civilization. We're gonna you're gonna take me down a dirt road. And we're gonna get lost. I don't know why a lot of the roads are tore up like that. They're, the city's, I guess, not really taking care of the roads. Or is it up to the Bron guys? I don't know. It's a shame. You know, I don't know what they're going to do when everything opens back up again. Tourist season opens up. My God. If you have a car or something like that, or even a motorcycle, you have a chance of getting a flat tire or something. Blow out or whatever. A lot of motorcycle tires here, they're tubeless, so... If you pinch the tire, you just get a blowout. So I'm telling her, where are you taking me? I don't know about these guys on the corner. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. She didn't bring her machete with her today, so let's get out of here. I don't want to go to the jungle. Let's stay near the city, honey. <laughs> Let's see if we figure out. She's looking at different places where she used to work and live right here. There's some there's some brand new apartments here on the left. I should have stopped, took a picture. They look really nice. Brand new building behind there. Another speed bump. I don't know why they just don't put a hole in the middle for bicycles and motorcycles to go through the middle, you know? The car is not so bad, you know? motorcycles and bicycles man you hit that speed bump or forget it's there you're done you might go be flying into that tree right there or something <clears throat> uh oh there's a dog in the middle street get out of the way doggy where are you going get out <laughs> watch out now I'm lost. I told my wife, I'm like, I don't know where you took me. There's a brand new place, a corner view apartments, brand new building, brand new. I don't know if they have any vacancy or not. Really nice place. Here's another stray dog. There's a lot of Filipino stray dogs around. Cats too, so you got to be careful. Our cat in the house goes nuts because he hears the cats and smells the cats outside. Plus, he's not fixed, so we got to get him fixed. He's going crazy. He's a Siamese, and he's a talker. He's whining all the time. You've probably seen some of the videos. I posted a, a short video today of him talking a little bit. 
But as soon as he sees me with the camera, he stops. He knows I got a camera recording him. Fussing. Look at all these potholes. Oh my god. Sorry about the camera shake. Man, my back's killing me right there. I don't know how they can play basketball on some of these streets. Looks like a school right there. Maybe a public school. Elementary. But Angeles City, for the most part, is a great place. A lot of you guys already know. A lot of people already know about it. But um, I'm going to try to head out to the main road here. There's some nice apartments there on the right. <clears throat> For the most part, everybody here is great, great people. Everybody is willing to lend a hand, help you if you need directions or looking for information on a house or an apartment or condo. All right, what's this rummy, roomy something? Some clubs back here coming up to the main road, Don Wuko again. By the VFW, I think it's right here. I think we'll stop at the VFW. I'm not sure if it's right here or not. No, it's not right here. I told her, where to now, honey? We couldn't find anything, any place. Right or left? I can't hear you. Huh? Plus, we're getting old. My God. I have a hard time hearing her sometimes. She speaks so softly, you know? She won't, she won't get loud until I aggravate the hell out of her sometimes. <laughs> oh, God. Well, she's the sweetest thing on earth, my goodness. I don't know how I got blessed with such an angel as a wife. My God. I must have did something good in life. Here we go to the right here. And that goes towards... Skyline, Malabanas, Malabanas Road or something like that. She's going to have me cut through the gas station here, I think. I think there's a Petron right here. Cut through the gas station, honey. I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> the motorbike I have... Uh, usually fills up I think what about it 100 and something 200 pesos which I don't know, is it five bucks usually fills the tank and that usually takes us for at least at least a week of riding around town I'm like which way to go honey she's like go to the left I was like we went to the left y yesterday the other day we ended up at Robinson and the Abakan River Park a bridge we saw where Philly goes all the time. If you know Philly in the Philippines, we ended up down there by the Abakan Bridge. I thought that was him for a minute. Walking. A lot of times he'll do walking videos, but you'd notice him. He's got the camera in his hand or something. A DJI camera holder. Brian's a great guy. He's got some great information on his channel. He's linked on our channel if you... Uh, want to click and explore in the links oh god look where she's taking me now <laughs> i'm like oh god look at all the potholes speed bumps and water puddles mud puddles she's taking us through yeah, i don't want to go that way again we've already went that way you're gonna take me down that way again i don't want to go that way <laughs> I don't like to go the same way all the time if I can help it. I like to explore a little bit, go different ways. I guess there's some new condos getting ready to go up here. The pictures look nice. Yeah, high-rise condos. Look at that. World class. Usually when hotels go in or business or something like that, the city has them due to the road. 
do a new road after they have to dig it up anyway for the pipes and sewer and the water lines and all that stuff. So I'm telling her we went this way last time. We ended up at Robinson, Robinson Mall, at the Abakin Bridge. Boy, my back is killing me today, too. All those potholes. She's like, turn here, turn there. If you turn left, you go back out. I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna go left and try to get back out to the main street. Again, I don't like these back streets a lot of times because I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning where to go, what's where, what, what where not to go. <gasps> oh, excuse me, Jesus. Got the hiccups for some reason. There's another Petron. Of course, that was the same Petron, yeah. The Skyline Hotel or Apartments was right there on the left. We're coming out back out to Don Uko or Perimeter Road, whatever you want to call it. I told her I want to head back towards the house. Let's head back towards Friendship or something. Look at those traffic, somebody trying to turn. Somebody in the red car there trying to turn left to go to that club. Blocking everybody. I like to give people a chance to go and then wait my turn. Other other locals will just go right around me, you know? Which is fine. I'm in no rush. See if I can get out there now. Get my nose out there. Squeeze in between these guys. Another motorcycle there. Club 54 right there where we turned earlier. Yeah, I, told her, I don't want to go down those streets anymore. The potholes are killing my back. She's like, okay, okay. <laughs> I told her, go to Maps, go to Google Maps and find out where you want to go and I can take you exactly there, you know. But other than that, I don't like exploring down dirt roads, pothole roads, or neighborhoods. I have no idea who lives there, what lives there. All I know is I don't live there, so. <laughs> There's some restaurants here. There's that Italian restaurant, I think, right there. Barretto's or something like that, Italian deli, really good food. They have like a supermarket too, I believe, in a deli area. There's Red Planet Hotel on the left. Again, I love, I've always liked the Clarkton, you know, they're they're not quite five star, but they're around that four and three star area. One thing I liked about it the most was the service. The people that worked there were great. Security everywhere. Really nice pool. Clean restaurant and delicious food. A lot of um, a lot of German sausages. The owner must be uh, either German or Hungarian or something. A lot of Hungarian sausages, German sausages schnitzels and all that stuff at the Clarkton Hotel. And they got a free shuttle, I think, if you come into um, Clark Airport, Clark International. They'll, they have a van that'll pick you up. And the room rates, I think, I don't know, they work out to be around $25 a night or something like that. $25 US a night, somewhere around there. Here's, uh, here's the side gate. To Clark. I right, call it the Don Rico. Don Rico. Here's the Clarkton Hotel on the left, right there. Restaurants to first entrance. Second entrance is the hotel. Convenient 7-Eleven right next door. 
And again, you're right over the fence from Clark, so Clark's easy to get to if you like to explore around Clark. Clark's also got a new gun range if you like to shoot. You rent their, you rent their equipment. They have everything from shotguns to M16s to pistols and bows and arrows now, I believe they said. You check them out on Facebook. They have a range right on Clark Base now, as well as they have one inside Angeles. Alright, going back towards Korean Town, Friendship Highway. I'm gonna watch out for those guys on the side of the road there. Just never know. Some people ask, well, what kind of bank can I use if I move there? It's like, well, there's a lot of good banks here. I mean, from what I understand, I mean, uh, we had Security Bank, I guess it was, or something. And then uh, a friend of mine works at Bank of Commerce. I've heard good things about them, really good things about Bank of Commerce. You can have a U.S. account, U.S. dollar account, and then another account for your Philippine peso if you want. You just transfer money. A lot of the banks here, even at the ATM, they'll give you whatever today's rate is. If today is 51 pesos to every American dollar. The ATM will give that to you. Less, you know, less, less the service fees. Or they charge you an ATM fee. They charge you a conversion fee to convert the money. But it's still a, a good rate usually to convert. I think it's up to 51, 51, 30 right now maybe. Somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that. I try to watch the news every once in a while, but again, we're in Korean town. A lot of Korean restaurants, nightclubs, bars, that kind of thing in this general area. They got a Burger King at the corner down there where we just turned and a Jolly Bee. Up the road here to the left, you have a McDonald's. Further down the road, you'll see a KFC and a gas station. That's all. They're in a trailer. Uh, they got their own trailer, KFC here, like permanent trailer. They do KFC fried chicken, mashed potatoes, that kind of stuff. Don't believe they have biscuits like the U.S. though. Don't believe. I didn't get the biscuit. I didn't get biscuits the last couple times I ordered. Chicken's good. And the um, what is it? The uh, coleslaw is still good. But I don't remember the biscuits. They didn't give us any biscuits or dinner rolls or anything like that. Maybe it's a la carte here. You have to order it. I'm not sure. We're going over River Bridge. I'm not sure what river it is. According to the wife, a lot of these bridges got wiped out when the volcano exploded, Pinatubo. A lot of water and mudslides wiped everything out there. Believe it or not, there's little villages along the river underneath that bridge. A lot of people live there, so they have to be careful. A lot of those people got washed away, I believe. Very dangerous area to live, but it's, uh, I think it's free or very, very low cost to live there in a little tiny village. It's like a resettlement village or just um, where people try to build, build a life. Build a shelter. All right, got a little traffic jam because of the bus. Let's go around this guy. Of course, he's going to want to pull out and run us over. I think. But they go around. Again, here when you drive, you know, big bus like that, he's just going to pull out in front of you. He's going to expect you to get out of his way or stop to let him out. So. If you get in his way, he's just gonna probably run run you over. I don't know. See accidents all the time sometimes. Especially in the bigger cities like Manila. The bus drivers will just just keep going. They don't even feel you and if they run you over they can't tell. Just like a pothole to them, you know, or speed bump. Speed bump in the room. 
We've been lucky. Like I said, we had great, great weather, great riding weather. My God. The mornings are nice and cool. The evenings are nice and cool. I don't like to stray out in the evenings or early mornings. It takes a few cups of coffee to get me going. So usually by afternoon, we're on the road. Afternoon or early evening, we're out riding around, trying to explore, see what we can find or get in trouble with. There's McDonald's I was talking about. Not sure what road this is, but you got the Mickey D's there. Then there's one further down by Nepo down there, but by Poor Rock Road. Got a Chow King down there by Poor Rock Road. Great chicken place, too. There's a wing place over there. One of the office buildings. Man, they're really good. They have a really good dip. Chicken was good, and uh, the dip was awesome. Kind of like a garlic ranch, I guess, would be the dip. Something like that. It was really good. And they have other kinds. They have like a hot sauce or this, that, and the other thing. Spicy or non-spicy. They have different flavors. Honey barbecue, Parmesan. They have different flavors. But um, wherever there's a space here, you just pull in like that guy did in front of me. A lot of guys have their girlfriend or sister or something like that riding along with them it's a very very economical way to get around town get through the traffic All right, let me see if I can see what road this is or if you ever need anything uh, help or anything there's a police office right there on the right with that blue tarp blue uh, roof it's Angelo City police thing there but I'm not sure if it's tourist police or regular again 7-elevens everywhere here guys just like the US they carry everything they have the slushies they'll carry your coke and Pepsi's kind of thing products everything you might need from cookies and crackers to chips to toilet paper and napkins they got everything here they also sell uh, liquor they'll have uh, wine of course and beer but they'll also have the local spirits like the Philippine rums or something like that they'll have here in the 7-elevens as well up here on the right and left there's some uh, Korean supermarkets my wife likes to go to to get the seaweed it's like a Really, really, really good uh, seasoned seaweed. Seaweeds they have. It's awesome. Great snack. Healthy, too. All right. Retro 252. I don't know what that building is. I think there's a restaurant there, too. Maybe a nightclub on the right. <clears throat> there's a market there. One mart. I'm not sure if we've been to that one yet. But again, you see people on the other side of the road there in the motorcycle. You, know, you just go with the flow. There's a kimchi restaurant. People ride on the other side of the road. They'll come at you on your side of the road in the opposite direction. All kinds of crazy stuff. So be prepared for the unexpected. Unexpected will be your middle name here in the Philippines when you drive. Local taxi, if you ever need a taxi here, it's called Blue Taxi. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a dispatch. I think they have an app up right now that you can book a book a cab on the app. But that's the local taxi, Blue Taxi. If you want to get around town, they're very affordable, very cheap from what I remember. 100 pesos to go to the mall or something like that, like two bucks. It was just ridiculous. We also have Grab, like Uber in the U.S. It's called Grab. They have Grab Grab cars, Grab trikes, like the trike there. They have Grab food delivery, like Uber food delivery. Almost every restaurant does either Grab delivery or Food Panda. Grab is the green. You'll see the green bags on the back of the motorbikes. That's Grab delivery. The cars will just be a regular car, a Grab car. Kind of like Uber. It won't have no sign on it that says grab on it, but they work off the app to find you. GPS kind of thing. Very similar. 
Food Panda has an app as well. And you can get everything delivered here you want. You can get McDonald's, Burger King, KFC delivered, sushi, Japanese, whatever you want, any kind of food you want. Most of them all deliver for them. There's Chow King on the left, coming up on Pork Road again, on our way back to the house. Jolly B on the right, KFC's in this gas station right here on the right, and the light just turned red on me, hope they don't flag me down. See that food truck right there? That's That was KFC, I don't know if it's still there or not. The checkpoint thing there, not really checkpoint, but traffic control officers are in there. <clears throat> Thank God nobody chased me down today. That light there switches kind of quick from green to red. Again, just go with the flow. Follow the guys in front of you. Trikes tend to ride really slow, so just go around them. If you find a way to go around, just give a courtesy beep. Let them know you're there, that you're passing, and you're good to go. Some, some, some people just wave at you too. They go ahead, go around. Up here on the left is a pet place we usually stop at to get some uh, cat food and cat supplies for our cat. It's a cat. It's a pet spa. And across the street on the right is Susie's Cuisine. They have some pretty good uh, dishes, that kind of thing. And we're going to stop today to see if the pet place is open. And it looks like they're closed. Maybe. They're right there. Go pet. Go pet. I think they're open. Yeah. Right there on the right where the white trucks are at. That's uh, Susie's Cuisine. You can dine in or have it delivered, of course. All kinds of cakes, pastries. They have some uh, hot foods, too. They used to have a lot of hot foods. But ever since the pandemic, they cut back on their menu a little bit. I told her, go check, told the wife, go check the door. Looks like they're closed, though, but I think they're on break or something or in the bathroom. Lord, it's hard to hear in those helmets, let me tell you. She says something to me, I'm like, huh? What? What? I see her lips moving and I can't hear her half the time. So we got to do something. We got to get the intercom or whatever. For the helmets so we can whisper in each other's ears I'm like it's closed I think it's closed huh it's closed let's go after about an hour riding around or so I'm tired I just want to get back to the house I'm gonna park down here I think get off the little hill Well, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. We love you. Again, if you need anything or um, anything we can help you with information or anything like that, we're not working anymore, but we'll be glad to spend some time to show you something that you want to see. Uh, next request we had was somebody wanted to see inside the malls. So we're going to try to do the malls. They're hard to do here. They don't allow you to do the cameras too much here. They don't like cameras or videotaping inside the malls. So... Let's see what happens, huh? I'll sneak it in or I'll have to wear a shirt with the pocket and put the phone in the pocket and just let the phone record instead of the camera. The phone, the iPhone does a pretty good job. I think we have the 8, 8 Plus still. Didn't upgrade yet. Still working fine. Although I dropped it today. Scratched the screen a little bit, but still holding together. I'm glad I had a nice uh, cover on it to absorb most of the impact. But I dropped it today on our concrete patio in the back of the house that we had added on. Alright, where are you, wifey? Let's go, Anita. Let's go. I'm itching to get back home. Take care, guys. We love you. Hope to see you again. Again, leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you and God bless.